It's Friday, September 7, 2007, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, and I want to wish all you grandparents out there a very happy Grandparents Day, which is coming up this Sunday. And I want to send out a special greeting to Senator Fred Thompson. I want to wish him a very happy Be Mistaken Once Again on the Playground for Grandparent Day. Yes, those are his kids. Fridays here on the show, I take a look back at some of my favorite stories from this past week, so let's get right to it. Our top story, German officials claim to have thwarted a terrorist attack on a U.S. embassy. They apprehended suspects, terrorists, that had in their possession 1,500 pounds of peroxide. 1,500 pounds of peroxide. Let me put this in perspective for you. That is as much peroxide as Brad Pitt uses on his hair in an entire year. President Bush said it just may be time to start drawing down troops from Iraq. And then he said, does anybody like me now? The answer, sadly, no. In other political news, former Tennessee Senator and actor Fred Thompson has finally, finally announced that he's ready for President of the United States. He did so last night on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Many people are criticizing Thompson's campaign, saying it got a late start. Why has he waited so long? Why didn't he come out sooner and announce? Well, let me tell you, look at him. He's over 65 years old, and take a look at his wife. You wouldn't get out of the house much either. A new book about President Bush called Dead Certain, has the president claiming that last year he read more than 87 books. That's amazing, more than 87 books. It's particularly impressive when you consider that only 50 of them were pop-up books. This news from the United Kingdom where they held their annual beard contest over the weekend. Here is the winner of the beard contest, Jack Passion. Coming in second in the beard contest was Tom Cruise's wife, Katie Holmes. And finally, I wrap up each week with my news quiz question. Today's question is about George Bush, who was in Australia this week, where he reportedly said to the Deputy Prime Minister, we're kicking ass. What was he talking about? A, the surge in Iraq. B, breaking the all-time record for the most sex offenders in Congress. Or C, alienating everybody he meets. That's the ointment for another week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll catch you on Monday.